Hey guys, welcome back. This is a very exciting day because I have my bowl back from the kiln. It's all nice and solid now, so it's almost ready to hold some popcorn for me. But first of all, I need to decorate it and then I need to glaze it. And after I glaze it, it's gonna go back into the kiln one more time and then we'll have that beautiful shiny finish that we recognize in our plates at home. But first of all, I'm going to decorate it. And all I need to do my decorations is some black underglaze, two sizes of brush, and a sponge. And I'll show you the glaze later. Okay, before I start decorating, I just need to do a little bit of cleaning up. If you look really carefully at the bowl, you can see all these little papery, wispy things. And what they are is actually ash. And this ash is all that's left over of those leaves that we pressed into the clay after they've been burnt out in the kiln. Before I put on my underglaze, I just need to get all of that ash out of the way, so I'm going to use my nice dry brush to dust it off the bowl. Whew, that's better, nice and clean. Now we can decorate and I've got this super cute little container to mix up my underglaze in. I want to dilute my underglaze with water to make it much more liquid. So first I'm going to give my container a really good stir and then I'm going to put a tiny bit of black in there. That seems like enough. Now I'm collecting some water in my sponge which I'm going to squeeze into my little container as well. And I'm going to keep on doing that until I have a very liquidy black paint. I'm just testing a little bit on my board to see how strong the colour is. Now it's time to apply the underglaze, and I really don't have to be too precious here. As long as it gets in all of the cracks and crevices, then I'm happy. It would have been really good to have a big brush here, but I couldn't find one bigger than this, so I was stuck with this silly little one. This is a really exciting part of the decoration process, because you get to see all of the beautiful, lacy impressions of the leaves appear like magic. Okay, step one done. It's not looking too hot now. It's got a lot of drips and streaks on it, but the next step is really gonna bring it to life. I'm gonna grab a sponge and squeeze it out a little bit, and I'm gonna wipe away all of the underglaze on the surface of the bowl. This looks really amazing because while I am wiping away underglaze, all of the black gets caught in the little indentations that the leaves made. This is where we really get to see the impressions of all of our leaves in high contrast and they look so good! The gum nut stamps are still my favourite because they really get a lot of black caught in them. Look at that bowl, so beautiful. I'm very happy with that. And now it's time to think about the other side. We've got a couple of drips that have gone down onto this side from when we were painting the other side, but that's okay, I can just sponge those off. And before we go any further, I'm going to just put a little bit of black into these gumnut stamps around the foot, like we did on the other side. I've got a nice convenient circle in the middle of my foot that I'm going to use to sign my bowl. I'm going to put my name, I'm going to put the year 2020, and I'm also going to write A online so that I can look back happily on this time of making videos in my messy garage. Check that out, very professional, right? Now it's time to paint on my design. I really want to do a bold and graphic design. I also want it to be inspired by the garden, just like the other side of the bowl. I 
I'm going to paint these bold stripy leaves evenly spaced around the outside of the bowl. Once I've finished those, I can make up my mind about what goes in between them. I think I've got an idea of what else to put on my bowl, but I'm not quite sure if I like it yet. So I've just got this lead pencil that I can use to sketch out my design before I make up my mind. Lead pencil is really useful in this kind of situation because once it goes in the kiln, it burns away and will completely disappear. So I can sketch away happily without worrying about making mistakes. Right now I'm sketching out a snail shell as well as a flower that looks a little bit like a bluebell. You'll see both of these more clearly when I go over with my paintbrush. Okay, I'm very happy with that design, so I'm going to go over with black on the glaze. There we go, that's my black and white decorations finished. Now it's time to glaze. Okay, here's my container of Italian blue glaze and I've given it a really good shake before getting started. I finally found a big paintbrush, so that's really good. And I'm gonna try and use it to dab on this glaze instead of using big smeary strokes because I don't wanna smudge my underglaze decoration. 